good morning children i am preeti kumar let us start with our previous chapter chapter 4 ethics and safety measures in computing today in this chapter we are going to cover the last two points safety measures while using computer and internet and also about digital footprint safety measures while using computer and internet let us look at the various safety measure which should be undertaken while using computer and internet first is minor should always serve internet under the supervision of their parents parents should decide and suggest age appropriate website to their children to minimize the chances of attack of hackers and crackers one should use strong passwords so a strong password consists of at least 6 characters that are a combination of letters numbers and symbols to avoid losing data privacy while transmitting the data from one site to another encryption can be implemented so let's see what is encryption encryption is the process of transforming data into an unreadable code the result is an encrypted file transferred over the network at the receiving end it undergoes a process called decryption which converts the encrypted information into readable form as you see in this picture how it is done now set up your computer for automat automatic software and operating system updates to make your system robust taking regular data updates data backup is the primary and the most reliable method of data protection ignore unwanted and strange emails and be cautious of attachments links and forms in email that come from unknown people make use of firewalls firewall is a security system that prevents unauthorized people to access your system and network it can be either hardware or software or a combination of both now digital footprints as you know children footprint impression left by a foot or shoe on the ground or a surface a digital front footprint is the impression or information about a people or a person that exists on the internet because of his online activity this is the information transmitted online like filling a registration form email attachments online shopping etc all of which leave a trail of personal information available to others this information gets logged in a data base a digital footprint is also known as digital dossier so let us see what is dossier collection of sources or record containing detailed information about a particular person or subject digital footprints can be categorized into active and passive data traces what is active data traces which uh, you leave uh, with the users uh, which you the user leaves intentionally like when they use email chats facebook and blog post are some of the ways with which a user can create a active digital footprints passive data traces include surfing the sites of 
searching information online shopping etc without his knowledge it is generated through the users online activities now implication of digital footprints as all discuss ever all the online activities leave behind the footprints or information traces these information traces could be used positively or negatively so before indulging in any activity one should think over its outcomes so you have to follow some guidelines never post any silly or abusive comments tune the privacy settings of your social media account in a way that your family and friends can see your post and pictures do not log on to an inappropriate website do not upload any inapt picture avoid accepting the friends request friend request from strangers be vigilant and extra cautious while being online as your carelessness or ignorance may generate a negative digital footprint which can spoil your reputation it can even affect your chances of gaining admission in a prestigious college or getting a job so i hope children all of you understood now this is the end of our chapter